It's the fifth time I'm recording this intro. Hello, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I, let's just get right into what this video is about, okay? I've been in a reading slump for like five days and I hate, I hate, I despise reading slumps. I finished House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah J Maas. It was my most anticipated book release of the whole year. And I finished it in like four or five days. I think it was five days. I've read like 40 pages since the 4th of February. It's the 9th today. I don't like this, okay? So I'm picking up this beauty right here. This is Bride by Ali Hazelwood. It's Ali Hazelwood's fantasy debut novel. And I think it's adult fantasy romance. I hope so. I don't know a whole bunch about this book, even though I did talk about this in my most anticipated releases for 2024. What I remember, I have terrible memory when it comes to reading synopsis. What I remember is that it is marriage of convenience, I think enemies to lovers, there's vampires and werewolves. I'm very excited to read this. I am not going to be annotating this. I've been annotating my books a lot and I'm getting seriously sick of annotating. I just want to have like uninterrupted reading time with this book. So I have my book, I have chocolate covered pretzels, I have my water, and if you see the colors changing, I've just started re-watching The Big Bang Theory. Yeah, I'm just gonna have my pretzels right now. I'm waiting for my family to get home for dinner because it's like nine. I have to start reading my book. I'm gonna speak to you guys in a little bit, I guess. I really hope this book is what gets me out of this reading slump, but I think it is because Ali Hazelwood just does not disappoint. I love her so much. So let's get started with this book. friends it's been a little bit since i last spoke to you i had dinner in the meantime and obviously took off my makeup did my skincare and got ready for bed it's like 11 right now ow just banged my nails on the camera yeah it's like 5 to 11 i didn't get very far into the book before dinner i got to page 25 so let's see if i can get any further i'm kind of confused about the timelines was the timeline specified at the beginning of the chapter because i don't know was it maybe i just didn't see it oh it literally says here six weeks before okay well well that certainly specifies yeah no that explains my doubts okay no doubts the prologue the end of the prologue i mean anyways um let's do some reading
Good morning, you guys. You're currently in my closet. It's 7.30 in the morning. I woke up like half an hour ago and I'm just getting ready for work right now. I'm doing my makeup. And I just wanted to say hi. Good morning. I kind of wanted to update you. I never film before work because I don't have a ton of time usually to do anything besides getting ready. But I decided to just say hello today. I am going to just update you. Yesterday I got to page 29 of Bride by Ali Hazelwood. And I was just watching Heather McCleary's wrap up like january wrap up and she loved this book and i'm just like my expectations are so high for this i want to see how much reading i can get done today i think i might be able to do a lot because we don't really have a ton of work that i know of so i just want to like read so much of this and then in the afternoon at night all of that as well and tomorrow i'm off of work so i feel like either by tomorrow or by monday i should be able to finish that book so i'm gonna bring you guys with me today to work when i when i read um on my phone so the quality probably is not gonna be as good but i'm gonna bring you guys along and i'll probably talk to you when i'm home in the afternoon so i'll see you guys later Hi friends, believe it or not, it's been over eight hours since I last spoke to you. It's been like nine hours. <sighs> I just had a very boring shift, honestly. There was like no work to do. But the good news is I did so much reading at work today. I'm just gonna pick up my book. So when I spoke to you guys this morning, I was on page 30. I am now on page 203. I am so happy. I'm loving this book. It's so much fun. I've been just reading it and reading and reading and I'm loving it. I'm having a blast. It's such a good book. Honestly, it's like, I'm, I'm just, I love it. I love, I love low. I'm going to have a shower because I feel gross right now. Okay. When I speak to you guys next, I'm going to be all nice and clean. Do you hear that? I literally just gave her food. There she comes. Wait. Hold on. No. There she is. Frosty. No. Oh. <laughs> I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. All right. Alright you guys, I'm on page like 260. 
the things I would do to and for Lo Moreland, I think he might be my favorite Allie Hazelwood, like main, main, male main character. I don't know if I really spoke. Do I look fucking awful? I don't quite remember what I told you guys about this book, but um, Bride by Allie Hazelwood is a, first of all, it's Allie Hazelwood's debut fantasy novel. It is urban fantasy, kind of. Um, but it's about, like, it happens in this world that is made up of humans, werewolves, and vampires. And they all live in relative peace, but there's, um, like, accords, basically accords. If you've read Shadowhunters, you know about the accords. But they have these, like, alliances that they made and these treaties that they have to keep peace between the communities and one of the measures that is taken to keep this peace is marrying the wolf's alpha which is Lo Moreland to the daughter of a very prominent politician for the vampires they get married it's a marriage of convenience as i've mentioned before but what they don't anticipate is that they're gonna fall in love obviously this happens in like the first chapter i'm pretty sure they're mates I am eating this up. It's honestly it doesn't feel like what other Ali Hazelwood book feels books feel like, probably because it's like different circumstances and everything. It's so good, honestly. I'm just I'm dumbfounded. I love this book. I've already read over 200 pages today. I don't think I'll finish it today just because I don't want to have this vlog be like a day long. It's, oh, it's 9.40. It is also Carnival, which means there's a lot of parties going on. Today's Saturday, Carnival is on Tuesday, but we basically celebrate like the whole weekend before. By we, I mean Portuguese people. So I live in a town that's like very into Carnival. So there's like parades going on. There's like parties. There's a party going on right now. And where I live, where my house is, there's like a clear path to see where the party is happening and to hear the music so i hear music from the party my boyfriend went there with his friends i don't feel like going today i'm gonna go tomorrow because it's my day off and i can just like drink and have more fun tomorrow in the afternoon it's also more fun because there's more people but yeah so my boyfriend went there i'm alone right now my parents are gonna get home any minute but i'm just gonna read a little bit more like I said, I'm on like page 260. This book is about 400 pages long, so I don't have a ton left. Today I want to get to around page 300, so I'm going to do that right now. And I'm waiting for my boyfriend to come home because he's going to bring me a sandwich. A very specific roasted pig sandwich that I always crave when there's like parties like this in my town. And I just need it to be my dinner today. So we're going to see how long it takes him to come back home with my sandwich. heartbeat smells like he'd die for this and yet he's about to ask me if I'm really sure and I'm going to laugh at him or snarl like it's not even but I'm obsessed with this man I can't believe we're 260 pages in and they haven't kissed yet it, this is such a good book. I'm loving it. I'm having such a blast. I just There's something about an Allie Hazelwood book. It just hits the damn spot like every single time. It is so they're so good. They're so good and they're reliable.
kitchen morning making pancakes. How are you guys? I have to say, I don't know if this is gonna look good. Like this angle. It's fine, whatever. Um, I got to page. I read like 300 pages yesterday, which hasn't happened to me in so long. But I loved every second of it. My camera's gonna die. Shit. Alright, well, I'm gonna make some pancakes and I'll catch up with you guys later when I'm reading, I guess. I'm gonna make chocolate chip pancakes. And yeah, I'm on page 324 of the book, so I have like 70 pages to go. I'm very excited. I'll catch up with you guys when I'm reading when my camera's been charged. So I'll see you in a sec. So I am home alone once again and I'm almost done with my book so I'm just gonna get comfy right now and read a little bit longer just until I finish it. I have, let's see, so I'm on page 360, I have like 36 pages to go until I finish the book. I have to say I wasn't really, I don't know, like I'm just not expecting I wasn't expecting what just happened like we just found out who betrayed the pack basically and who got all this stuff with like Anna and Missouri like who made all of that happen I was not expecting it but I did have a bit of a suspicion that it was someone in kind of like the inner circle basically like one of the one of low seconds I thought it was going to be someone I thought it was actually going to be the woman, I don't remember her name, but I don't know, she kind of gave me like an off kind of vibe, you know? I really don't remember her name. Uh, Juno, I think that's her name. It was not who I was expecting, but I had a suspicion that it was something that sounded like someone that was important, so yeah. Now, I have two, three chapters to finish this book. I think it's like two and then the epilogue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this. I'm very excited to finish this book, but also it's been such a fun read and I kind of wanted to have some like more. Let's just go ahead and finish this book right now. So I'll talk to you guys when I'm done probably. bit since I last spoke to you since you saw me reading I finished Bride by Ally Hazelwood I really loved it I rated it a five star I feel like I've spoken about this enough but I just really really loved this book it didn't stray too far from what a normal Ally Hazelwood book is so the tropes that she she loves to to do the whole enemies to lovers he falls first and he falls harder just it's honestly like it was so so good i really loved the ending of this book as well i think it was really nicely wrapped up and the ending like the last part of the epilogue could we be maybe looking at a sequel for this book i would not oppose to it like i yeah i think it would be really really nice i loved 
Misery. I loved Lo. I loved Anna. I loved like all of them. I just really, really liked reading about these characters. It was definitely a bit of like a found family moment, like tropey vibe in here, but it wasn't like the main focus of the story, but I really appreciated it. I think it was really nice. And in the context of the book, it makes so much sense. If you have read this book, please let me know what you guys think. If you haven't read it yet, you should. It was such a quick read. I definitely could have read this in one day if I wanted. I just tried stretching it out a little bit to really enjoy it. It was amazing. I'm giving it five stars because I just rate every Ali Hazelwood book five stars. With that, we have actually reached the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog. I've been really liking doing like book focused reading vlogs. I think it's quite nice. If you like this kind of content, please let me know in the comments down below. I will see you guys again next Tuesday. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, like the video. My social media is all linked down below, as is my Goodreads. So you can follow me there on more of a daily basis instead of just weekly. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video, I hope you stick around for more of my content. I'll see you again next Tuesday once I'm more. I hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful week, just a wonderful time. And yeah, that's it. Bye.